craft skyquakes. Mysterious, thunderous booms, that leave people baffled and without explanation, have puzzled scientists for over 200 years. The true cause remains largely elusive, despite various theories, ranging from sonic booms, to meteor explosions, or even underground gas releases. Recent research even utilized seismic data to investigate the phenomenon, but the mystery continues as no solid evidence ties these booming noises to any specific natural events. Could they be atmospheric disturbances or something else entirely? The truth behind skyquakes remains unsolved. So we're diving into something kind of spooky today. Well, maybe not spooky exactly. More like mysterious. Mysterious is a good word for it. Yeah. You know those weird booming sounds people keep reporting? Like huge explosions in the sky, but nobody can explain them. We're talking skyquakes. Ah, yes. Skyquakes. I got a whole stack of reports here. Articles. Even a scientific paper. People have been hearing these things for centuries all over the world, and we're still not totally sure what causes them. It's true. I mean, we're talking reports from all over, right? Like Alabama, Seneca Lake, even some accounts going back a couple hundred years. It's that combination of a global phenomenon with a very uh, personal impact. You know, it's right. one thing to read about it, but when you hear that boom yourself, it really gets under your skin. Absolutely. I remember reading about this event in Alabama back in 2017. People were freaking out, calling 911. They're hearing these massive booms some folks even said their houses were shaking. Oh yeah, I remember that. And get this, even the National Weather Service was stumped. No storms, no earthquakes, nothing on their radar could explain it. So what could it be? Well, that's the million dollar question, isn't it? There are a lot of theories floating around. And some of them are pretty wild, right? Like we're talking exploding meteors, secret government tests even, gas bubbles in lakes. You laugh, but the lake gas theory isn't as far-fetched as it might sound. The idea is that gases, particularly methane, can build up in lake sediments over time. Then, if there's some kind of disturbance or pressure change, these gases could be released rapidly, creating a booming sound as they break the surface. Okay, I can see how that could make a loud noise, especially in a place like Seneca Lake, which is known for being pretty deep. But then, how do you explain the skyquakes that happen in places with no big lakes around? Exactly, that's one of the main problems with that theory. While it might explain some skyquakes, it can't account for all of them. Okay, so what about those exploding space rocks? Is that a real possibility? So those would be meteors or bolides, as they're called, when they explode in the atmosphere. It's definitely a more dramatic explanation. It is. So how would that even work? Imagine a meteor entering the Earth's atmosphere at incredibly high speed. It heats up due to friction. And if it's big enough or moving fast enough, the pressure can cause it to break apart, explode, essentially. That explosion creates a sonic boom, which, depending on the altitude and atmospheric conditions, could be incredibly loud, even deafening, when it reaches the ground. So it's like a sonic boom, but from space. And if the sound gets amplified by clouds or something, it could sound even crazier, right? Right, that's the general idea. However, there's a bit of a snag with this theory, too. You see, when bolides explode, they usually leave behind fragments, meteorites, that fall to Earth. Despite numerous skyquake reports, scientists haven't found any solid evidence directly linking these events to meteor fragments. So we're back to square one. It's like the more we learn, the more mysterious it gets. Didn't you say you had a scientific paper in that stack? What did the researchers find? Ah, uh, yes. This paper is from some researchers at the University of North Carolina, and they took a fascinating approach to this mystery. They wanted to see if they could find any hard data to explain these booms. They used information from a nationwide network of seismic sensors called ISTA. Seismic sensors, so like the kind used to detect earthquakes. Exactly. ISTA picks up tremors from earthquakes, volcanoes, even landslides. The researchers wanted to see if they could find any correlation between these seismic events and reported skyquakes. 
So did they find the source of the booms, like rumbling beneath our feet? That's the surprising part. Despite all the data, they couldn't pinpoint any seismic activity that matched up with the times and locations of the reported skyquakes. So it's not the earth shaking that's causing the boom. That's wild. Their conclusion was that these booms are most likely originating in the atmosphere, not underground. Well, that brings us back to those exploding space rocks then, doesn't it? It's certainly possible, but it also means there could be another atmospheric phenomenon that we haven't fully considered yet. And that's what I find so intriguing about skyquakes. We're still searching for that definitive answer. It's entirely possible that there isn't just one explanation. Maybe different skyquakes have different causes depending on the location, the weather, all sorts of factors. Wow. Okay, so next time I hear a weird boom in the distance, I'm going to be looking up at the sky A and D, wondering what else might be going on up there. Exactly. It makes you realize just how much we still don't fully understand about our own planet, especially when it comes to the atmosphere. Who knows what other unexplained phenomena are out there just waiting for us to solve them.